Evening all, welcome to the Ugly George Show. The world's gone crazy, everyone's got their own fad. I want to spend tonight just asking a couple of people about the fads that they have tried. I've got a couple of uh, guests, um, and I would like to start with uh, Christina, who allegedly is a vegan. Hello, Christina. Hi there. Firstly, why the hell did you do it? Why the hell did I do it? Become a vegan. Um, I became vegan because I wanted to better my health in the long run and just potentially, I don't know, make myself better. So you've made a decision that goes against about 3.5 million years of evolution that we eat whatever we can whenever we can. Well, I guess I like living life on the edge and being a rebel. Yeah, that's good for rebellion, but also who pays for your medical bills when it goes wrong for you? I haven't been to the doctors since I became vegan because my health has been quite good. Are you not worried that a long term, the long term deficiency in all of the minerals that you're not getting is actually going to cause you some problems and cause society problems because we're going to have to pay for your faddish decision? Well, if you looked on Google and researched and actually cared, um, you'd know that we get all our vitamins, minerals and nutrients from all the foods that we eat and we get a variety, um, you're more likely to um, get high cholesterol, diabetes and all that, eating meat and all the sugar and starch that you consume in your diet. Well, I've got a bunch of facts which contradict that. However, uh, rather than uh, uh, drag that particular issue out, let's talk about another one. If everyone chooses to become vegan, the fact is in this country alone about three or four million people were about, uh, out of a job. In the third world, that could be anything between 50 and 100 million people who depend on giving us the kind of traditional foods that you've rejected. What do you say about their lifestyles that would end? I don't know what you mean. Well, if people are in a meat processing, a processing factory and you say, and everyone becomes a vegan, there's no more meat, they have no jobs. How do they, how do they eat? They can eat vegan food because obviously well the only vegan food they'll be able to afford is grass i'm sorry that's not my problem and in the great scheme of things that's probably not going to happen right i'm glad you i'm glad you said that christina um that's not my problem so my fad can hurt, destroy and harm other people that's not my problem it's typical of the kind of selfishness now there's another kind of selfishness and that selfishness is vanity after the break we're going to discuss vanity with, with somebody else. Hi, welcome back to Ugly George. Um, before the break, we spoke to somebody who uh, regards himself as a vegan, um, doesn't worry too much about the consequences of that. Um, I have somebody else with me. This is Mahela, who wants to turn her body into a temple. Hello, Mahela. Hello. Right. What can you explain to me what you actually do that's different to ordinary people, in your opinion? Well, um, I don't think someone is crazy enough to go to gym every single day and spend about two, three hours inside the gym and work out trying to... Right. Is that what you do then? Yeah. Right. So three out of your 24 hours a day, three of them every day are spent... About in three, between two and three hours. Why, why do you actually do that? Well, um, that's how I relieve my anger somehow because um, I lost someone I loved in the past. So I used to be fat and this kind of made me start working and start watching after myself because there was no one to watch after myself. Yeah, very sad, very sad. But um, um, when you... Um, you say you want to get your anger out and so on and that. Isn't there a more positive way in which you can that? By actually, rather than sort of uh, looking after yourself, actually helping other people and that. Aren't what, isn't what you're doing ultimately quite selfish? No. Well, it's why not. isn't it selfish? It's about you. Why don't you help somebody else? It's about me. So um, yes, that's I what I'm would saying. like to help myself first before I get on, well, away and help others. Well, we all like to help ourselves and that before we help others, but in that case, nothing would actually happen in the world positive, would it? And that? I mean, you're saying what was 
you've got all this positive energy and positive uh, um, um, desire to move forward and so on, but why can't you do that with somebody else and help somebody else? Because right now I feel like I need to sort out my own things and my myself before I can get the responsibility to help someone else. So it's all me, 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 isn't it? It's no, just yeah. me. Do, do, you know, do you know how many um, pensioners in this country, old people, uh, who literally never see one person in a month? There are, do you know? Yeah, I know, and I'm how aware many? of that. How and many? they're over, over two million. Yeah, well over two million. Now, while you're pampering yourself in your gym, trying to make yourself look better and that, if you spent your time with those pensioners talking to them and actually making their lives better, wouldn't that be more constructive, positive use of your anger? It's not just that, it's that I want to look after myself, look fit, and then well, ah, maybe I can fit? split, and maybe I can, fit? because I want to look fit. And why? That's because why do you want to look fit? Because that's what I want, and no Why one can change that. Why do you that. want it? That's the purpose of this show. We look at people's fads and addictions. Why yeah. are you addicted to looking better? Because I need to find a man to stay on my side. Right, so you're not <laughs> doing it. You're just doing it, basically, to get a bunk up somewhere else, yes? Not really. I'm doing it because I need to do it. I, that's why I got used in, in the past 12 months. And... Yeah, I feel more happy when I enter the gym and I know I'm doing it for my good, I know that I'm doing it for myself and I know that someday I can help others in gym, helping them build up their body. Thank you, Mihaela. That is a lot of me's, 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 eyes, eyes, eyes and making myself better. After the uh, next break, we're going to get both of our... Um, guests back and we'll have a bit more of a wider range discussion about the nature of fads themselves. Let's see you after the break. Excellent. Hello, welcome back to the third part of uh, Ugly George. Uh, we've got two of our faddists together now so we can have a little bit of a chat about what really motivates them. Ladies, um, what would you say to the uh, accusers who would say that you're simply engaging in faddishness to, to, to feel more trendy? I wouldn't say anything to them because I think I'm mature enough to ignore them and focus on what keeps me go going well, good in life, not on what they say because they don't matter to me. I uh, tell them to do their research personally. Right, oh, I see. I like that. I get that, yeah. Get, yeah. Do their research, yeah. Um, do you think it's the most important thing in the world, no. what you do? No, it's not. There's other many, many, many cases around the world that are more important than what I do. And, for example, there are people that are ill and they cannot do anything that we do and that makes it more hard for them to focus on their real life than us who... What, uh, Christina, what's the most important thing in the world at the moment? Um, I'd say people's health, because if you don't have your health, then there's a the point in living. Right, okay. Um, Mihaela, what's your, what do you think is the most important issue in the world today? Um, starvation around the world. Okay. Uh, starvation. Do you know that for the first time, uh, I think five years ago, the UN identified that there are more obese people than there are starving people? Are you aware of that? I wasn't aware, no. No. It surprised the both of you in terms of the question. Uh, so you're saying that starvation is the biggest problem when actually clearly evidently it's not, is it? Once again, yeah, but I think those people that decided to over exaggerate with the, the meals a day, um, that's their problem, but there's other people that cannot. Interesting point you make there. The uh, evidence seems to be that the majority of the obese people are actually the poorest. 
because they are um, um, they are eating fast food for McDonald's because they can't afford what we might describe as real food. What do you think? I think that it's quite easy to transition from a meat diet to a vegan diet because... I'm still banging on about the vegan stuff. Because it's... Well, I know that it's easy to go um, vegan on a budget. I eat organic as well, which is quite expensive. So real food can be easy to maintain in your everyday life. Yeah, no, sorry to interrupt, but um, that things in the world that, okay, I'm not eating McDonald's, but um, people can spend money um, on something else. Even though they're poor, there's five pounds a meal, right? At McDonald's, that means you can buy from those five pounds something healthy and something you can that's not going to affect you, you that much. Meal. Yeah. You could buy something to cook with that money rather than spending five pounds on a whole meal. And I think they're not pizza. that broke for them not to afford a kitchen at home. Uh, clearly, neither of you have never uh, ever known poverty, whereby you have to think about uh, spend the way you spend your money so much more. What then my point is is that by your spending your time and your ample brain power on essentially yourself and your own fads. I would argue that actually you're not spending your time helping the others so much. Poverty, which causes obesity, is one of those issues that you could have talked about. But I'm afraid uh, you didn't take the opportunity. So with that, unfairly, Ugly George closes now. Good night.